the post Super Bowl 53 mailbag. Wait, I'm assuming this isn't sponsored. That is a great question. <laughs> so I'm just gonna assume it's not. Hello and welcome to this week's mailbag, the post Super Bowl 53 mailbag. I'm Doug Kide. If you have a question for me, tweet it to me at Doug Kide using the hashtag MailDoug and I will try to answer it. First question here comes from Daniel who asks, is Gronk coming back in your opinion? That video he and Brady made after the Super Bowl looked a lot like it. I'm not so sure. I almost would probably go 50-50 on this one. I think probably before the Super Bowl, I was leaning towards Gronk probably retiring no matter what happened in the Super Bowl. Now, I'm not so sure. I still think that it might be in his best interest to retire. I don't think there's really anything else that he can accomplish in his career other than winning more Super Bowls, but he's already going to be considered the greatest tight end of all time. He's won three Super Bowls, so he's right there as far as legacy with all of those early Patriots Super Bowl winners. But maybe Tom Brady can convince him to come back. There was that report that Rob Gronkowski, and he actually confirmed it himself, that he was going to threaten to retire if the Patriots traded him, and that's because he wants to play with Tom Brady. So if there's anyone in the world who can convince Tom and uh, Rob Gronkowski to come back for another year, it is his quarterback, Tom Brady. Second question here comes from Dan Fullerton, who asks, what's left for Brady and Belichick to do? They'll forever be known as the best at their position, so where can they go from here? All these kind of retirement questions in the mailbag, which I guess is kind of natural because that was the main storyline leading up to Super Bowl 53. There really isn't that much else for Tom Brady and Bill Belichick to, to accomplish at this point. They're basically just running up the score now. Both of those guys have six Super Bowl wins. Like you said, Tom Brady is going to be considered the greatest quarterback of all time. Bill Belichick certainly should be considered the greatest head coach of all time. Now it's just about, you know, beyond football. Now it's about extending it to maybe the best dynasty in all of pro sports, which at this point, it really might even be because of the, the free agency model that's in place. It's, it's that much more impressive. The Patriots have won six Super Bowls in this time span. So I mean, to answer your question, no, there's really nothing else for Bill Belichick and Tom Brady to accomplish, but it does certainly still seem like both of those guys are coming back. Last question here comes from Truck, who asks, do you think with Casario's coaching roles that he can be Bill Belichick's protege and not Josh McDaniels like everyone assumed? I think it's possible, and I think this was something even uh, one of my fellow beat reporters, Kevin Duffy, brought up this week. That that wasn't with any sort of sourcing, but just you know, throwing that idea out there. And Nick Casario definitely is more involved in coaching than I think a lot of people know. He was the Patriots wide receivers coach in 2007. He's at almost all, if not all, of the Patriots practices, helping out in some regard. I think that he certainly will take over some of the wide receiver coaching duties that are being left vacant by Chad O'Shea. He's going off to become Brian Flores' offensive coordinator with the Dolphins. So I do think that Casario will continue to take on a big coaching role. I think the most likely scenario though is that Josh McDaniels does eventually take over Bill Belichick and Nick Casario at that point will either become the general manager or the vice president of, I guess, football operations. <laughs>